All right. Um, very good win. It's always good to get off uh, the, the start of the season with a victory. And, um, you know, it came with us making some mistakes, like I talked all, all through the preseason that we were going to have some highs and some lows in practices and games and throughout the season. There's going to be some ups and some downs. I thought our team responded. They were very confident. Uh, there was a few mistakes early uh, that we got to get corrected. Um, you know, the interception, um, you know, was a, Will has a little time there, be a little bit more patient, um, put it on uh, Ep, or on uh, Josh a little better. Uh, Josh could catch it, so we'll get that cleaned up. No excuse for putting the ball on the ground with fumbles, um, and really no excuse. We got to get it cleaned up with defensively, keeping that drive alive with penalties. That's aggravating. Um, but again, with that being said, responding the way they came back, the way that we finished the game, um, it didn't feel like that. Is that accurate? With uh, do they have eight, eight, uh, 60, 63 plays on eighty-seven yards? I, it felt it felt a lot more aggravating than that. <laughs> so, um, but it's a credit to Coach White and the staff. They were really they really did a good job of preparing for many things. And I, I really credit uh, Brad. They, they were well prepared for a lot of things. They knew they could see a lot of different things. And our guys played hard. We got to quit with the penalties. Um, and the same with Liam and the offensive staff. I thought it was nice. We worked on ourselves today. And uh, you know, we, we needed to just get better, get game reps, uh, get, get some confidence. Um, I think there's a lot of people that know we have a lot of good potential, but we have to go out there and play and it was a good start. It's it's uh, there's way too many penalties or, or way too many mistakes. We got to get cleaned up. Uh, we have a big game next week, uh, but it's a good starting point. Mark, in some ways, is it positive that Will had the mistake early? And you saw how he responded to adversity as opposed to just going out there and cruising for an entire opener. I, I think so, and I, and I think. You know, none of us want that. We work all year long, you know, and, and then come out and, and start down seven nothing, and and uh, you know, it just pisses you off. But you just you just regroup, and truly, I have to practice what I preach as well. Go on to the next play. It is what it is. I have a lot of confidence that we would, and um, you know, he was hyped up, and and he throws the ball hard, as you could see today. You you know, it's, you could see all that he's been advertised for, uh, with his arm strength. And uh, so it was good to go through adversity. And same defensively. Like I said, eh, well, not really. That just pisses me off. <laughs> yeah. What did you think of the downfield passing attack? You know, you, you see that in practice, but to see it against somebody else at the, at the same be that successful. Obviously, what I've been looking for and very, very happy about that. And I talked a lot about it um, in the spring, you know, that, that we were getting the ball completed down the field. And uh, no, Will wasn't here, but just the offense in general and the receivers gaining some confidence. And, um, and uh, you know, we built on that this summer, and, and it was uh, great to see him throw for, you know, just complete the ball, just, just the basics, making the routine. We still have a lot of work to do with making the routine look routine. You know, we have some pitch and catches out there that we're, we're fighting a little bit, but we'll, we'll continue to get better. Obviously, one day will get a lot of the attention, but Josh, he also responded to Well, it, it was really good for for both of them to to get some touches, um, and you know, especially Josh. I think coming back for an extra year, uh, having confidence that we were going to get some things corrected and, and get the ball uh, thrown down the field, and to see him respond like that was uh, really good. I think both he and Wandell had really big days, and could have been a lot more had we went heavy in the in the second half as well with those guys. But uh, uh, I'm happy for him. It looked like more often than not, there, were, there was somebody open every time out there. I mean, and not that you will hit him every time, but there was somebody out there. Was that, you know, more to do with you guys or was some of that their personnel or a little bit of both? Uh, well, a little bit of everything. I think, um, you know, schematically, um, we're, we're going to put pressure on people. And, um, you know, it's really good. I think our quarterbacks really know where to go with the ball for the most part. We're not per perfect yet. We're going to strive to be. Uh, but they're getting better, and you know they're they have a good understanding of things. And Liam called a really good game, and and uh, you know I love it. He gets you know as aggravated as me when uh, when they don't go score. You know when uh, he gets uh, he, he gets a little upset if we have to punt. So I like that. Right. Is there anything about today you 
said, hmm, that went a little better than I actually thought it was. Well, again, I think really I just told the defense coaches I was really proud of them. I thought they were really in good position, you know, for, for some creative people. You know, they're, they're always creative offensively. I know that it's new and they're, they'll get better as they go. Um, but, uh, you know, I felt like the guys were in really good position. It frustrates me when we're not. And, uh, and then offensively, for the most part, again, with the terminology, getting the plays and communicating, he did a lot of different personnel groups, a lot of different shifts, motions there. You can see there's a lot going on. And for the most part, very clean. And, and it, uh, exceptional getting the ball down the field. Um, there's some basics, you know, like I said, with the pitching and catching and some, some things that we could clean up that will we'll be much better. So um, I don't know, I've just rambled a little bit. I didn't directly answer your question. I don't want you to put me on the spot there and quote me on what I'm not happy with because, uh, you know, there's a lot. You know, there's a lot to clean up, but there's also a lot of good. You know, it's game one. You know, you're happy to win. But whatever we did, and, and know that there's so many things we can improve on. Well, how amazing is what JJ Weaver's done to tear an ACL in the second to last game and come back and have two sacks in the eighth? I didn't realize he had two sacks. Yeah, I was trying to get him out of there, and he talked me into another series, and it's good for him just to kind of build his confidence, you know, and know because through camp we we're protective. He's, you know, he's fully cleared, and uh, but I know from going through that. The, the more you play and, uh, you know, you get more confidence, uh, the stronger your leg gets and the, and the more reps you get. And uh, so that that's good for him. I didn't realize he had the, the, the two sacks. But uh, I know with late in the game, uh, J.J. talked himself into getting a few more snaps. I think he just wants to get his legs up underneath him. Is there an indication of a change of identity for Kentucky football? Um, I, 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 I think that's fair, you know, to say how it, word it however you want. I mean, you know, uh, you know what I was trying to look like. I was talking about balance. We haven't had balance. Anytime you're one dimensional, any which way, it's not good. Whether you can only throw it or only uh, run it, you know, you got to have balance. Uh, you know, again, I've been a defense coach. You all know that. But from a defensive perspective, the the more pressure you put on with personnel groupings and um, you know everything that he's doing, uh, it's putting pressure on you. And, you know, I like where we're at, and we're getting better. We're improving. I know we improved in the past game today, right? That's that's fair to say. There, there were a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> what does it do when you stretch the field like your offense stretched it today? How tough does that make it on a defense? Well, it, it definitely makes it difficult. And, um, you know, creating the shots and, and, and hitting them. You know, for the most part, when we had our shots, if we had the protection, we, we hit them. And, uh, you know, they did a nice job. They covered a few overs and some things, some sales, you know, where we had called. And we got to get a little better protection and hit the check down on some of those because there's still some yards and some things to get cleaned up. But, uh, you know, it is, it's always good to see the ball down the field. As good as, you know, as physical as we've been, we, we've got to capitalize on getting the ball down the field. And, yeah, you certainly see the arm strength, that's for sure. You, were, you got after him with a pass rush. Was, was there any – secret behind it, but how did you see uh, how did that happen? How did you all create that? Was it one more thing or were guys just um, I thought he did a good job of mixing it up. Um, we got him in some predictable uh, pass situations. That always helps. You know, so when you get ahead and you get predictable pass, now you got an opportunity to get some straight rushes home. You know, play coverage and, and get home. And uh, and that's where, you know, an area of improvement as well that we need to improve. And, you know, Brad and the defense coach have worked hard and challenged our guys to be better one-on-one uh, -on -one rushers and, and win some one-on-one -on -one rushes. And uh, obviously we did that tonight. Our first time live with Liam on the sidelines, how were the communication issues? No, there? I mean, no, nothing, uh, not, not perfect, but, but it was very good. Um, like you would expect, I think. Uh, I, should have, I was walking down to call the timeout when uh, our center heard something and snapped the ball on the one uh, play that we um, – I, I, I don't know exactly what happened there, whether we had the wrong personnel, whether there was a communication issue there. Where I was walking down to call the timeout. Luke, Luke snapped it. He heard something. And, uh, you know, that, that we got to get cleaned up. But overall, I was pleased, very pleased with the operation and the confidence in him, the way he called him calls plays and getting the personnel groupings in there and a little bit more efficient whoever asked me the question earlier about you know I think 
you know that's that's good to see you know maybe a little bit of a surprise that it was that clean um, for for game one yeah I think yeah Ox and Josiah and uh, Justin Rogers and all those guys Khalil Saunders those guys have really worked hard and um, you know we feel like are going to be very good players it's good to get them reps and uh, they'll we'll need them all year and uh um, they've been they've been working hard. They really have good attitudes, and I, I like those guys. The SEC Network said you were going to eat a banana if Will threw for 400. He did it, but the team did. So, <laughs> well, that doesn't seem like then I have to eat the banana, right? <laughs> That's why I got him out of there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How, how vital will Chris be? Obviously, over 100 yards rushing today. How vital will he be going forward in this game? Oh, he, you know that that that. That has to be a staple. One doesn't work without the other. You know, you have to have the balance and the physicality. Chris, you you saw some amazing individual efforts by him today, and you saw the line blocking very well at times. And there's things we we got to get cleaned up in that area too. But uh, you got to have a physical presence. Um, it was good to work on the pass game today. You know, and and blend it with the run game because again, you know, in this offense, you got to you got to have the balance you're looking for. I didn't even worry about it. I didn't. I didn't notice anything. I didn't even. I didn't. I didn't flinch. Honestly, I thought, uh, you know, it's a time live that Josh. It was on Josh. But really, then you look at the replay, and and that's when I noticed it was a definitely had some heat on it, and it was a little behind. And in that situation, it's just some game reps. He, he needs to be a little more patient. That was a clean pitcher. We had exactly what we wanted to. We don't need to rush that and drill that so hard. I mean, that 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 was a good play. That should have been a really good play. And you know, 10, 10, 12 yard gain or so and uh, turned into an interception. Mark, I assume future opponents will try and make you all throw to more than just Josh and, and Wandale, but how strong is this offense at doing things to get your best playmakers the ball, designing creative ways? Well, that way it's very efficient. You know, it's very efficient. Um, so, and we, you know, there's times when, you know, everybody has to step up. You saw, it was great to see Isaiah Epps make a great individual effort play today. Um, um, who else that was late in the game that I thought had a nice uh, catch? Dingle. Yeah, Dingle. That was a really nice catch by him and Bo hanging in the pocket and taking one on the chin and delivered a nice, nice pass. So, you know, there's, you know, you always need it's a team effort. You talk about the vision doesn't seem to spread it around to a lot of guys. In recent years, you've really leaned on, on one guy. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely felt like I wanted to. You know, work on that today, and as we got ahead, and instead of going into the mode of four-minute offense like we used to, I just, you know, truth, truthfully, just really wanted to get better, and so just spreading them out and working on some of that, um, you know, was just good reps for us today. Zone efficiency was a bugaboo last year. You were five for five today. How do you feel about that? And yeah, well, always, you know, critical situations uh, like that, you know, red zone and third down and, and all that, I really got to um, go back and watch the film. But, um, you know, overall, again, I, I, I'm pleased. I thought we did a lot of good things. Got to get our, you know, get it cleaned up. You know, when we when we stumbled, a lot of that was on us. And uh, as we move forward, it'll be much more challenging. How about a guy like Wanda, who put six on the board from any spot on the field? How much pressure does that put on the opposing defense? Yeah, it puts a lot of pressure. Yeah, you could thank me for that one because it was about we were about seven plays in, and I said get Wandell a touch, and then it was a touchdown. <laughs> so I'm one for one. Pardon me. Yeah, well, we like all things in this game. I mean, we got to go back and look at it and see where it came from, um, and. Uh, you know, even on some run games, there was some penetration there that cut off some runs, some big plays. So, got to go look at it. And I don't, I don't know exactly who gave up. Uh, you know, the the pressures. I know late in the game, one of our backups who did, but I don't need to throw him under the bus right now. Okay, folks, thank you very right, much. Thank Appreciate you. Uh, do you want to hold?